Hey homos, uh, welcome to our podcast. I'm Keegan Hurst. And I'm Joel Wood. And we are boyfriends, partners, whatever you want to call it. Spouses, whatever you call it. Spouses. Yeah. Not married yet. No. Oh. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and this is our podcast, Happy Healthy Homo, where we are looking to redefine the gay community, what it means to be a modern gay man, yeah. and empowering people, gay guys, to build happy, healthy lives. Yeah. We're mainly targeting targeting mainly targeting gay men but we know that there are lots of um people of other sexualities and lots of straight allies that watch yeah this yeah so welcome you're all welcome you're but all welcome. you for the benefits of watching this episode you are an honorary homo yeah so welcome <laughs> so today's episode we're starting with a bit of a fun one i think this is really fun the title of this episode is something to do with red flag green flag these are ambiguous things mm -hmm. that we found that are not obvious so lots of when we we're googling red flags they were like oh ghosting oh if they yeah. if they're mean to you they're obviously red flags so we were like what are some what are some amber flags yeah we've been getting loads and loads of emails in haven't we from mm. people about what to do about this what to do about this yeah um i mean bear in mind we've only been in a relationship for we're coming up to a year now yeah, it's aren't nearly we? our year anniversary um yeah God. joel's counting down the days um, why did that is not true. <laughs> no, not in the sense. In the sense of what are you getting me for? Yeah, bear in mind when you've moved in, you're like, I've lived here for a month. <laughs> Keegan loves to publicly on camera pretend that I'm like the the one who's really into all these things and the anniversaries and everything, and that he's the chill one. Whereas off camera, he's the one that's saying to me, "Should we go on a little date night tonight? Should we go do this?" Oh, it's coming up to a year. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Yeah. You like to make me look stupid in front of our viewers. That's, Ooh, that's, what that's it a is. bit harsh. <laughs> Don't think stupid. Although I will warn you guys today, I am my brain is not working. So yeah, Joel tried multiple times to say penultimate today. I kept saying penultimate, <laughs> which is not the word. So I apologise in advance. But yes, it's we've not been in a relationship a super long time, so we don't proclaim to know. No, everything, especially when we've got people emailing and who've been in like 20, 30 year relationships. Yeah, it's like power to you guys, exactly. Um, but yeah, we, so it's just it's our opinions, yeah, which is why you're here, right? So I remember, opinions are like assholes, everybody's got them and they usually yeah. stink, yeah, usually. exactly. <laughs> um, right, so what we're we gonna go with, are we gonna just throw a, a uh, something out there and then yeah. we're going to have an opinion whether it's a red flag or a green flag yeah and we'll just dissect it and just have fun and you guys can join in and let us know in the comments if you're watching on YouTube of any sort of red flags, green flags that you've experienced as well Okay. Mm. Um, do you have so any? the first one is oversharing so let's say you're going on a date with someone and they're very forthcoming about everything and they 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 overshare about their feelings, their life, their family, their experiences. In some ways, I can see that's a good thing. In other ways, I can see it's a bit scary, bit off putting. Is it a red flag? Is it a green flag? Well, uh, I think like most of these things, it depends on the vibe of the person. Mm. I remember one thing that a therapist said to me. One of my therapists said to me. I've had numerous therapists. Um, oh, he goes through. Chew them up and spit them out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a therapist eater. Um, yes, yeah, so and my therapist Maureen said sometimes when people have got really low self esteem and self worth, what they will do is mm -hmm. they'll overshare on purpose because. They don't think the relationship is mm -hmm. going to last. It's going to work. So it's inevitable that it will fail. So they might as well just put everything out there yeah. so the person, so then the person can go, oh, well, I don't like that. And then they bin them off and it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like a take me or leave me thing. Yeah, like this is everything on yeah. the table. 